I don't know how many times I've actually said this, at least of recently, but I am someone who wants to be an aspiring VTuber. I know that in a year alone, as of this video, there are some noteworthy videos that have surfaced about the major downsides of VTubing, one of which being Xylagal and her video on leaving the VTuber community. You aren't going to be super close or even friends with every single person you collab with. That's just how it is. It's a job for a lot of people. And a lot of people need to learn that if someone doesn't want to interact with you further than a work relationship, you need to fucking respect that. Xander Digital made a video discussing the glaring issues with the community as well. This shit is so ridiculous that they'll even use mental illness as an excuse. Which is crazy because not only is that pathetic to do, but it gives people who are suffering with mental illnesses a bad rep. Even Veritas Joe mentioned the racism factor in a video at least once. VTuber does blackface. Based enough for you? Oh, how about VTuber accidentally says the hard R while rapping? If you think that's bad enough that someone accidentally just unloads the hard R, how about other base VTuber also in blackface telling black people they can't be mad at non-black saying the N-word? And about how we ain't about that life, apparently? I cannot make this shit up. And it's honestly a downer as someone who isn't straight and just white. But I did want to sort of talk about my thoughts on it not just as someone who enjoys consuming content from a lot of people like Sayu, Henya, Takahata, and so on, but as someone who still, to this day, actually does want to eventually get a VTuber rig and setup, be it indie or in a hypothetical universe, hell freezes over, pigs start flying, and a company actually wants to have me on as a partner. You know, when the stars align and all that. <laughs> Because this wasn't just something I just found out about or heard like a couple months ago. No, I knew about this since Kizuna Ai. And if you want to be technical about it, I've known about Vocaloid since I was like 9 or 10. Which was essentially like the precursor to VTubing in a lot of ways. And at the time, it was just idol culture but anime 3D model and mainly just something for audiences overseas. Mainly because, like, a lot of them only knew Japanese and the occasional broken English from playing video games. And Hollow Live was where I think it got really popular and started having much more of a reach, but it was still to me just this idea of if anime girls were real, and that was just not it for me. The humans are here. Okay, 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 what am I gonna do? Oh, what kind of voice should I do? Okay, hold on, let me think about it. Um, probably should be cute, so I can be a very kawaii. And a lot of the people I talked to, many people who ended up befriending me as well, kind of felt the same way. I didn't really start noticing what this could actually end up being until I saw this in 2021. Well, uh, mom, before I can sell you this ice cream, I need to ask you some questions. Ma'am, can you spell? And Lee's like, yeah, I can spell. And he goes, okay, can you spell the van and vanilla? She goes, yeah, V-A-N, van, vanilla. He goes, yeah, perfect, amazing. You're very good at spelling. Can you spell the straw in strawberry? She goes, S T R. A W straw strawberry. He goes, yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, ma'am, can you spell the frick in chocolate? And the lady goes, there is no frick in chocolate. And he goes, exactly. That's what I was trying to tell you, ma'am. What would you like to order? <laughs> Girl DM at the time next to Amano Pigame were the characters that made me realize this was something more than just what I thought it was, and it piqued my interest somewhat even more. Let's kill the home. Let's kill the hole. Yeah. Ano. 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 Hey. Ano. 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 And in that same year, I find out Takahata is doing it, and just watching his streams, the clips, the different people being brought in, it actually felt like something I genuinely wanted to do. I could finally drink something at your bar! <laughs> Dude, that's just pure honey. 
I was pay sword. <laughs> <laughs> because before everything else, I saw it and it looked like one thing. Fun. It looked fun. Having an anime avatar, but also just being able to have fun around people you're friends with, be introduced to new people, and even getting along with them on some level. Bits and jokes that were on the level of playing with toys as a kid, and so on. Stuff like this just genuinely made me feel like I wanted to be a part of that. Maybe not with those people specifically, but that kind of fun that was something I did and still want in my life. Two problems with that though. One, I'm broke as shit. And two, while I could figure out how to do this as an artist, looking into it, making a VTuber model is a dedication and I have to be able to figure out right. It's something along the lines of doing this full time and whatnot where I'd have to be paid for it. I considered actually commissioning a VTuber model once and all the people I got messaged by were way out of my budget range. I, I didn't want to go broke doing this. My friend did show me a PNG tuber software, and after going back and forth with drawing new expressions, I've been sticking with it since then, and it's mainly been my compromise for being a VTuber all this time. This is the full model. These are the different expressions. It's really pretty. Thank you. These are the different expressions that I wanted to go with. I actually had to do a last minute edit for this. Um, as you can notice, I tell there is a shadow behind me. Um, I had to do that because when I was chroma keying the avatar, for some reason there were details that were transparent even though the artwork was absolutely like filled in and everything. The eyes. The eyes got details. <laughs> so the, the different uh, colors, the different changes to the eyes and the hair. I really wanted to get creative with this. Like, I don't really go for much formal wear or like all these like, I don't really go much for this flair or this like regal outfits, I guess, which I see a lot of like different like expressive avatars working with. It's just like, cause that's, I don't know. It's not really me. I think it's just like, if I were to be in this space, right? And I had creative control. It's just like, what do I want to look as? And I take liberties, but ultimately I, I kind of like just casual clothing. One, because it's easy to draw, absolutely. And two, it, I don't know, it looks nice. There's nothing wrong with casual clothing. Avatar absolutely has less assets than my previous one. And I can load this up. I initially made different expressions for every, every shift of a key. Every hockey switch, I made different expressions. But truth be told, I think I honestly made a little too many, honestly. And this is something that I still want to achieve too, being a VTuber and having a VTuber model in the future. But yeah, I can't help but feel like seeing and hearing and finding out about the community that it's just becoming the internet with anime models. The racism, the entitlement, the lack of accountability, just to name a few problems. Even more so because people do some fucked up shit and graduate, and a few months later they pop up with a new model and act like nothing happened. Or they think they're a changed person all of a sudden. Which... No, that's not how this works. And plenty of people are going to tell you that's not how this works. They dox their personal information, their actual f***ing face, and also just led kind of like a hate campaign against them in a Discord for like two years after getting unmodded. And oh, well, well it's my dream. I don't give a f what your dreams are. Give up. How long is this statement? You put out a four minute statement? Oh my God, this comment is get good, good. How to keep this one unlisted so your new audience doesn't find out your attempts to dox and harass someone. Holy, it's unlisted? Oh! My God! Oh no. I still want to be one, but not like them. Maybe another seven years down the line, it'll be a possibility, and then the game will have changed, and I'm right back where I'm started. Ain't that some shit? 